my name is Enrico Carrara. I work for Rina Services, and uh, my uh, current uh, occupation is on uh, digital innovation. Uh, the most important challenges that we are facing in uh, ship inspection are uh, concerning, first of all, uh, safety, because surveyors today uh, have to go in very dangerous places, uh, enclosed spaces, where can it hide and so on. So uh, robots and drones in particular are a, a big support in this, in, 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 in trying to improve safety, but also in reducing the costs related to preparation of items to be inspected because, you know, when, when you have to uh, prepare a cargo hold for inspection, uh, you may need uh, sca scaffolding or uh, dropping a, a cherry picker or whatever. With a drone, all this uh, can be avoided and the safety can be highly improved. My name is Alf Pearson, I'm the Technical Performance Manager for North Europe. Uh, I've worked for Lloyds for a number of years. My job's ensuring the technical consistency and service to our clients is in accordance with the rules and regulations of Lloyds Register. Well, there's lots of challenges and I, I can't advise you on all the difficulties our staff have, but they have certain uh, difficulties in getting surveys done in a timely manner, uh, being able to get to the spaces and the cargo holes and the cargo tanks that they need to inspect and doing it in the operational window given by the owner. Uh, we have tested uh, the Helios 2 so many times both on board and in the lab together with flyability and in the in environment and framework of uh, Robin's project and we have really uh, amazing results. This, this drone is amazing because it's uh, able to go in very cluttered spaces, uh, passing through very narrow manholes and uh, it's uh, uh, something that uh, could be really helpful in, in ship inspection. Lloyd's Register's vision is to make surveys uh, more flexible, uh, more expedient and, and Lloyd's Register is always looking for innovative and futuristic techniques that can help us in the execution of our duties. Well, I think the, uh, the reproductive uh, elements of the pictures that were produced by the drones was uh, interesting and can enhance our understanding of structures and also expedite uh, places that we find difficult to get to i.e. the under of tween deck, uh, tween decks of bulk carriers, uh, looking at uh, bulk carrier frames, uh, which is always requiring us to uh, use a hydraulically articulated vehicle to get to these points. So a drone can do that in a, uh, a more quicker and easier manner than what we can using articulated vehicles. The data that we are getting from, uh, from the Helios 2 are mainly uh, visual and uh, what we have now is something that the uh, surveyor is not able to get uh, on his own unless he goes very close to places that is, are very, very difficult to reach. The uh, ideal robotic solution for the future is something that puts technology in, at the service of the human, supports the human being and being more safe, more uh, concentrated and focused on important things that humans can do better than robots, but there are so many things that robots can do better than humans. So having both the human and the robot in the loop is very, very important.